Hopfield South Africa at Excelsior Wind Farm and bird watchers are using unusual means to protect birds flying near windmills. Using what they call shutdown on demand protocol, they monitor birds' migratory patterns and timings. This helps them turn off the windmills and save the birds from getting caught up in the fast moving blades the initiative founders believe is working. And the, uh, the outcome has been very positive, very successful um, in that we've reduced the, the impact, uh, in other words, the fatalities for the, uh, for the, 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 the blades, um, for those pattern blades by 80%. Um, so for the raptors, it's up to 87%. Raptors being killed before we patterned any of the blades versus after an 87% reduction. And we have a lot of raptors around here. They're very susceptible to being struck by turbine blades. We have 14 species of raptor. We have some even breeding in the, in the, the wind farm uh, itself here. According to BirdLife South Africa, a bird conservation agency, about 6,000 birds die annually as a result of the impact from turbines situated along the birds' migratory paths. Worryingly, about 10% of them are endangered species. Birds are also blind to white and black contrast and are unable to detect spinning turbines against a cloudy sky. It's been successful and now um, it seems that the, the South African Wind Energy Association, so we are, are actually very happy to take it forward. It's been shown and there are at least five other farms around South Africa, operational farms, that now have uh, red striped blades. We don't know what their results are. These interventions were first implemented in Kenya in 2010 and their results are impressive protecting six priority bird species. They include the white stock, blue crane, the Marshall eagle, the rocks eagle, cape vulture, and black harrier. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.